I've just returned from an insane trip to Antarctica and it all started when I got a message from landscape photographer Nigel Danson. Hi Danny, I've got a really exciting trip. I'm leading a workshop to Antarctica. I want to invite a couple of wildlife photographers and I'd love it if you'd be able to come. My journey started in London and we finally arrived in Santiago, the capital of Chile. Juan and I spent a few days exploring and sightseeing. And then I flew to Punta Arenas to meet everyone attending the workshop. So this morning we got the good news that we're going to Antarctica. We couldn't go yesterday because there was low cloud cover and fog, but today we're going. My bus leaves in eight minutes and I'm pretty much all packed. I had to finish the Rue video this morning, but I wanted to show you this. A guest made this for our trip. How cool. It's got my name on it. I wanted to put it on my jacket, but there's no iron in the hotel. So that would have been cool. I need to go. <laughs> I'm going to Antarctica. What is this? You've been good? Nice. Goodbye. The conditions were perfect. And after a lot of blue, we saw the white continent. We were landing into King George Island, which was pretty much just a gravel track. literally just landed and there are penguins behind me. <laughs> Although we were supposed to be putting on boots and life jackets, I just had to get a couple of shots of the Gen 2 penguins. I guess it hit me, I was in Antarctica. I was not expecting this. Double bed, TV, ensuite, shower, balcony. I thought it was gonna be like bunk beds. <laughs> Quick tour before I mess it all up. Bed, sofa, mirror, little desk, TV, balcony. Then in here, shower. Absolutely wild, absolutely damn wild. So we've just had a presentation and an emergency situation practice. We're moving. I'm feeling slightly queasy, but not too bad. I don't usually get that seasick. I've only had it once when we were in 
incredibly large waves waiting for sharks. I'm okay. This is wild though, like, it's absolutely beautiful. The staff are extremely welcoming. My plan now is I'm going to unpack all my stuff and make it feel like home. <laughs> So we've just arrived to our first landing spot. We're going to go out in the zodiacs, look for some wildlife. I haven't really filmed much today because firstly, I hardly slept last night. I probably got about an hour. Um, I'm not sure why, I think I had a coffee too late or maybe it was because the boat was just swinging around and it was quite tricky to sleep. So I've been a bit dazed out, but we've had presentations most of the day and we've, we've also been cruising further south and now the landscapes look incredible. We've got icebergs. We saw some orcas this morning and a humpback whale. And those are actually my first ever wild orcas. So that's very exciting. I'm a little bit confused about clothing and what equipment to bring. So I think I'm going to bring two cameras, one with the 400 millimeter and one this camera with a zoom lens. Announcement. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Recess Cove. So a little bit about this landing site quickly. It is a uh, a small hike up a hill to a stunning viewpoint over a glacier and the path is covered in deep snow and I expect to be calling down the first group, so portside, in approximately 15 minutes time. Our first zodiac outing and we had fluffy snowflakes. It was a bit tricky to get the focus on the wildlife, but it made for some lovely shots. The icebergs were phenomenal. So many different shapes and textures. We landed at Reese's Cove. Sadly, the visibility didn't allow for good shots of the glacier, but a very relaxed skewer sat next to us. A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I've just uploaded a new blog post on my website with photos from the first half of my Antarctica trip. Squarespace is a great place to have your website. It's easy and simple, but it looks professional. If you'd like to take the time to preview my photos, have a look. And if you'd like to give Squarespace a go, head to squarespace.com slash dannyconnorwild and you can save 10% off a new purchase of a website or a domain. We were woken at 6am as we were entering the incredible Le Mer Channel. The conditions were incredibly atmospheric. It 
it's eight o'clock and just had breakfast. We're getting ready to land onto Peterman Island, I think that's what it's called. And it's gonna be a wildlife day, which is great. Slept seven hours last night, so I feel super good. Yesterday I was a bit of a zombie, but today I feel really good, really fresh, and very excited for some photography. Equipment wise, I'm not really sure what to take because yesterday I was struggling. I'm definitely taking the big lens. I'm not sure what to do about the second camera. Maybe I should just focus on one camera because having to faff around with two cameras was not easy, especially as we can't put things on the ground and I was struggling a bit yesterday. Less I think is better, yeah. So I'm probably gonna leave this camera and just take the big one. As soon as we landed onto Peterman Island, we were surrounded by Gentoo penguins. Many were going through the end of their summer molt, so both adults and chicks were looking very scruffy. It's so amazing to be around all these penguins. I'm super glad I brought my tripod today because if I hadn't, I think I would have really struggled. It is quite heavy to lug around. It's been really nice just to concentrate on photography and not have two cameras and I've got this little camera for vlogging and I usually take my second R5 but it's been just so nice to have the focus on photography and getting some video. Annoyingly the snow is a bit icy and wet and it would be really nice to get some like big fluffy snowflakes I could literally have spent all day here, but after an hour, we had to head back to the boat. Today was our second proper photography day and it was insane. We went to a Adelie and Gentoo penguin colony and there must have been several hundred, maybe a thousand. Most of them were Gentoo penguins. There were some juveniles, some adults. It was the perfect time for portraits and behaviour kind of shots. And then this afternoon we went out on the Zodiacs. And we went up to some other penguins. So it's been all about penguins today and it's just insane here. Today we're staying overnight in this sheltered area. Just insane. What an incredible place. and right in front of the boat is a massive penguin colony and they climb hundreds of meters up to their 
nesting sites and it's just wild to think how far they walk. I was shooting at 1000 millimeters and I tried to get some penguins isolated in the environment and just try to get all this white space and just a couple of penguins. If this is day two, I'm gonna come home with a crap ton of images. <laughs> And the amazing thing about it is it's so untouched. We've seen a couple of boats and we saw a sailing boat today, which looked amazing, but you don't see human life that much. My view right now is just incredible. And I was sat in bed and I could see a humpback whale and a penguin and the landscape is just out of this world. It's honestly mind blowing. Okay, I need to eat dinner because I'm already an hour late, so. <laughs> After dinner, I immediately went out to shoot again. The light was so moody. I was so excited for the following day, which was a landing to the penguin colony. Also, for the very first time, I've added some photos on my website as fine art prints. It's a bit of an experiment, but my new plan is to release prints after each video that will only be available for a week. I've never offered fine art prints before, and it's something I've always told myself to do, and I just haven't done it, so this is my new plan. So if you'd like any of these photos printed on luxury fine art paper, have a look. I hope you enjoyed the first part of this incredible trip. Part two features more penguins, lots of whales, lots of seals, and we cross the famous Drake Passage. See you next week.